Welcome to the Family Book Club podcast with Elizabeth Samsetti. Please define your relationship on time to avoid obsession and fertile attraction. Whether you are young or old, whether you are married or you are married, it's irrespective of whatever category you belong to, define your relationship on time. I got this information of how a couple of, um, a group of friends, a group of um, teenagers were friends and um, they grew up to become adults. About uh, how many of them they were in a combination of male and female. They were just, um, of course, they went to the same high school, the same secondary school, they were playing as, you know, you know the way, like a clique of friends. And then they grew maturely. Uh, it got, they got to the level of, um, they got to the age where they, they could have relationship, of course, marriageable age. And um, one of them, or rather, a, a male and a female, I think they were a group of five, thereabouts, I think, I think two guys and three girls. And one of the, um, the, one of the boy and the girl decided they fell in love. Of course, they had finished school now. They had even finished university and uh, they were still friends and they decided to get married and um, one of the other girl among the, among the friends was uh, very furious and like no she had her eyes on the guy that was about to get married and that um, the girls had snatched the guy away from her and um, the girl was like oh no we were all friends so you never spelled it out you never told him he never had anything, any special interest on you, and you never showed that you had any special interest on him. So why you should be happy for us? Why are you saying now that uh, you you are the one that has had eyes on him, or he was supposed to be the one you were supposed to be the one he had eyes for? Okay, uh, by so doing, um, it, it it became really very terrible, and I got I got to know through a relative to. The girl that was about to get married because it became a very big issue in the family that they were trying to sort out this brought me to my topic of discussion today i want um, us uh, young people or any level at all not just limited to young people even if you are old even if you are like you are co-workers you work together in the same organizations and in the same organization and you are friends and you have colleagues if you have anything outside any special feeling anything emotional about somebody that you have mostly the opposite sex you have a kind you know you feel kind of differently you, you feel something beyond just being friends with that person please always try to let the person know on time to avoid them crisis later in life because it turns out really very bad some of them get really very disastrous there was one that um, i learned some couple of uh, years ago one even had to kill one one of the guy guys rather one of them had to kill the other one and said that if he couldn't have the girl then no one else was going to have the girl you know so please and any, any kind of relationship that we find ourselves in let's spell it out why are you in a relationship if you are you are friends with the opposite sex you are just friends just acquaintances and suddenly you see that he's beginning to get extremely nice you see that he's beginning to send you gifts you see that he's beginning to look at you in a way and manner he normally does not you know used to look at you before find out find out why he's, he's changing or why he has changed why his attitude has changed why his behavior and countenance towards you has changed don't just keep quiet so that you know yes so that you get to know and if you accept whatever it is he or she wants with you then you accept if you don't accept let he or, or her know that you are not you don't want them you don't like them in that manner that you just you don't want to have that kind of relationship with them so that they know to prevent all of these disasters that has we've been hearing that has been happening all right then also it's not just within teenagers or young people before marriage and even after marriage when you are a married uh, a person either the, a male or a female definitely if you're a business person you do business with both male and female and if, if you are if you work um, in an organization definitely you have colleagues that you, you you work there together and if you also same thing notice that 
somebody is getting so close for comfort ask the person why they are getting so close it could be the lady that is making the move getting so close to you as a man you are a married man ask the lady you know i'm married why are you making such advances at me if it is the the, the other way around the man making at the woman the same thing the woman should ask the man or the man should ask the woman why they are getting so close spell what in, in a nutshell spell out your relationship her time so that the other party the other person will not have it confused for what it's not it's very very important don't get so comfortable the the gifts get coming you start to get favors special favors and you think it's just like that please we are adults when it gets to that level when it's just not ordinary when the friendship is not just like just knowing each other and being friends being acquaintances the way it normally is you will know the countenance will change please spell it out to avoid confusion in the future my name is elizabeth samsedi